We first came to Knowsley just before Christmas to see how people in the UK's second most deprived borough were coping with the cost of pretty much everything going up. We met Gary, who runs the New Hut Centre, a resource for the local community. I'm angry because I want to live in a country where we do look after one another. Right now, our community is coming together because it's facing some of the most dire situations it could ever face. We met Linda, a pensioner struggling to make ends meet. Two meals a day, if I'm really hungry, I'll eat three. It gets tough, I don't get upset, I used to. I used to get upset. And then I said, well, what's the use of crying? And Steph, a single working mum with two young kids. You, you just think to yourself, like, how is this going to get better? Sometimes I think, you know, well, I'll get rid of my car. And then I think, well, that's me lifeline. It's a sunny Tuesday in February. Former carer and grandma to 10, Linda is on childcare duty. I'm looking after the baby today, and up to now, he's been a very good boy. Um, I am doing not too bad. A bit better than the last three months, I would say. But it's still a struggle. Just cutting back on things, where I had the heating on for an hour, I have it on for half an hour. Where I have toast of a morning, or maybe a sandwich at dinner time. I just had my main meal of a night. The prices in the shops have really gone horrendous. Because I used to go and buy three for ten, or buy in bulk, and fill the little chest freezer out there for me, like my main meals. But now, y y there's no offers on. The freezer's empty. In the year to January, food prices have gone up by over 17% with 96% of people saying they'd experienced increased food prices in the last 12 months, while over half of us are now spending less on food and essentials. I give my children and my grandchildren whatever I can, but it's getting less and less now because I've got to look after myself. Every Tuesday, there's a free lunch club for locals. Linda goes each week to meet with friends and get a hot meal. Do you like that one? Do you like them? What is it called? It's half term this week, so the centre's finding ways to entertain and feed local kids. I'm a teacher and my husband's a mortgage advisor. We obviously both have decent jobs, but you're still a lot shorter than we usually have been because um, bills are going up, shopping's going up, shopping is, is double. I find about two weeks after I've been paid, I, I have nothing left. The social supermarket in the centre provides everyday staples at discounted prices and it's in constant need of restocking. So in terms of number of users, just using January as an example, January last year, so January 2022, we had just shy of 600, so 595 users at the social supermarket. That's doubled, so January's figures for this year show that we've had over 1,200 people. If I take this week as an example of how busy we've been, um, yet we've organised activities with the emphasis being on ensuring that people have access to food. But those people are coming in bigger and greater numbers now than they ever have before. And they'll be from working families. The people that are coming here are the types of people that haven't ordinarily needed support before. <laughs> In 2021, the government launched a £500 million scheme across all four nations to provide support to those most in need. In England, it's called the Household Support Fund. It's administered through local authorities every six months and is a big part of how the centre is funded. So, the Household Support Fund grant that we receive from the local authority amounts in the last five months of this six-month period to £60,000. And £60,000 is a significant amount of money, but it certainly doesn't stretch to meet the need and demand of support that's required in our community. For example, our costs as an organisation have gone up in the same way they have at home. Our costs to buy the food and the resources have gone up in the same way they have at home. The concern now is, 
how will that be sustainable moving forward? The government say the funding is guaranteed for another year from April. But for organisations on the ground, they're still waiting to hear if they'll qualify, which could impact on services. We're in February, where we've not heard anything about what will happen after the end of March. How, how can we plan? There would be none of the fuel bank support to people. There would be a massively reduced offer in terms of our social supermarket, which is currently open five days a week. I'm pretty sure that wouldn't, it's not sustainable without some of that funding. And more importantly, it would mean the people that we support miss out, they lose out. For mum of two staff, the new year brought fresh challenges when the nursery she relied on for childcare suddenly closed down. But staff's predicament isn't unique. According to Ofsted, in the year to August 2022, over 5,000 childcare providers shut. That's 8% of total providers registered with Ofsted. Only 57% of local authorities now report having enough childcare places available for children under two. Steph's now reliant on the goodwill of family to fill those gaps in childcare. On her way home from work, she picks up her son and heads to the centre to grab some food. But the juggling act of childcare for her younger daughter is a constant worry. I didn't find a nursery. I inquired to quite a few, but they didn't have the um, spaces for her. They didn't have a placement for her. It does put my job at jeopardy because I obviously need to work. Um, and for me to not have childcare, that puts me in a situation where I'm either, I have to be a stay-at-home mum or I, I can go to work. So this half term, obviously I do work Monday and a Tuesday, so they go to families' houses. The rest of the time they do spend it with me and then they also go with the dad on the weekend. So he kind of takes the pressure off um, me creating all the fun and, and you know, and, and it's help with, you know, feeding them as well because it's two days that I don't have to provide. I don't think you can sit there and ask for help from the government, but I don't think there's actually anything they can do unless they lower the costs and lower the prices of things, because in this day and age, you can only help yourself. And obviously, if you've got an amazing family like I have, then they can also help you as well. <laughs> I just don't think there is help, is there?